Hey everybody, it's Kaylin here with another look in the book. This book is going to be the Grade 1 Smart Start STEM, and it's produced by Evan Moore. You can buy it at evanmoore.com. Make sure you check that description link below here in the description box, and you can get that link to head over to evanmoore.com and find all of their good products that they have um, for all content and curriculum or whatever through many grades. This particular one I selected for our first grader to help kind of complement some of our science topics that we're using. And I didn't really know a lot about STEM, and so I figured if I got a book that was going to direct me into STEM, then I'd be able to touch on it a little bit better. And I really like this book, and it complements my science curriculum perfectly, but I actually would even go so far to say that this could stand alone as a gentle science unit if you wanted to kind of start a gentle science um, study with your student. And if you wanted to teach, like if you're a homeschooler, obviously, and you had like a first grader and a third grader, this would actually be something that could be interesting for them as well as maybe a young preschooler and you can get hit all of your kids at the same time, which we homeschooling mamas love to do. So let me show you a little bit about what this book looks like on the inside and see if it's something that you're looking for so that you can look into this resource if it works for your family. Okay, so on the first page here, this is our table of contents. The book covers three units of science. We have physical science, life science, and earth science. Physical science has four units. Life science has seven. I've forgotten. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I forgot before when I looked at it. Anyway, and then earth science has four as well. So you can, you know, you kind of get a good array of different sciences. Let me just show you quickly what each of the science has. Physical science is solids, liquids, parts working together, and sound. Life science, you have the brain and the skull, parts of an insect, what do animals eat, where animals live, animals in winter, animals and their babies. And then earth science, you cover the moon, recording the weather, bodies of water, and looking at rocks. Okay, so you have a kind of a good array of all different kind of subjects that's complementary to many different grade levels. The next page is your general materials list. Mostly all of this stuff you're gonna have in your backyard or in your pantry or somewhere in your house. Most of us have popsicle sticks, Play-Dohs of clay, plates, plastic wraps, blankets, buttons, cotton balls, craft sticks. So. There's lots of stuff on here that you don't have to necessarily go out and purchase, but there may be one or two things that you wanna pick up if you don't already have it in your pantry, okay? The next page is how you can go about using this books and the pages that you're going to find within each unit. All of the units are structured the same, but um, so anyway, you can kind of decide how you want to plan it in your homeschool week when you go through and use these materials. Um, each one is gonna start with a descriptive page, and a story that goes along with it. You have a couple of activity pages that go with each unit. Then there's gonna be like a STEM question, and then these are your like, um, what are they called, science project pages. One page that explains the science project, and then the other page that is like a journal entry for it. You can do this either in the notebook, or you can rip it out, or you can like recreate or duplicate something like this in an actual like spiral bound notebook, depending on like, how creative or whatever you want to be. Okay, so let me show you a couple of these pages and what they look like. Like I mentioned, I think that this curriculum could be a very gentle introduction to science if you wanted to do something like that or if your schedule was already feeling kind of stressful but you wanted to include science, this is a nice gentle way to do it so you don't feel stressed but you feel like you're covering the materials, okay? So this first page gives you enough content that you can teach your student about or introduce your student about whatever the topic is. So this one is gonna be solids. Your student can either read it if you have an older student, have your older student read it to the class. If your students are not yet strong readers, then you can read it with them or present the material to them in some kind of fun, creative way. And then the next one here is your science story. And it just gives like this particular one is about how the boy had chocolate in his lunch and it started to melt. So then she made that a teaching opportunity as well. You can make your kids some lunch and decide what are solids and what are liquids, that sort of thing, okay? Here are your activity pages. This is just what it looks like in its solid form and what it looks like when it's melted. 
This is some writing activities as far as solid and melted. And then again, these are when you mix solids together, they still keep their form and their shape. Now this is your story with a little illustration that goes with it. You can tell this story and then halfway through kind of pose the question, well, what should we do to fix this problem? For example, in this story, the king likes all of these foods. There are so many windows in this castle that the foods are starting to melt. What do you think is something that we can do to help his food not melt? You can present that question to your students and your older students should be able to find an answer to it. Boy, um, so it solves the problem here at the end of the story. So you'll want to actually read through the story so you know when to stop, discuss with your kids, and then you can read the second half, which introduces the next page, which is going to be your science project or your STEM project, which is uh, what the whole book is about. Okay, so this just spells out exactly what you're going to do as a part of your science experiment. It's very thorough, super easy to understand, and it's fun because it gives your kids an opportunity to create and build an experiment with themselves to see what actually works. And I really liked that. So the objective here was to design and construct a tall tower. The tower must be built with materials that are solids. The tower must stand without falling for one minute. These are some suggested materials that you can use. Many of them, all of them, one of them, whatever you want. And depending on the age of your kids will depend on like how intricate their designs actually become. So that makes it really fun because you can help your preschooler. Your first grader could probably create something fairly rudimentary on their own and then your third grader or your older students could do something really fun and complex which then teaches the younger kids as well here's the process so you'll want to go through this with your kids as well and there are some um, resources available online that can help complement this to put in like a science journal if you want to really make it a little bit more elaborate for those older students so you will ask the questions what is a solid yada 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 make a plan of how you want to build your project create your project and then test your project and then this is kind of how you can write it out okay so all of the units are designed like that explanation fun little story a few activity pages to kind of demonstrate the, what the subject is here's the story with the problem how are we going to fix the problem and then it's the objective challenge materials plan create test okay so let me go through and show you these pages quickly so you can get an idea of what you're looking at. Okay, so I didn't show you every page, just in interest of time, I just kind of gave you a rough example, but all of the units are laid out the same so you get a good idea of what they look like. I wanted to show you here at the back of the book, um, you get a little certificate if you like to print off certificates or if you need to have some kind of proof of completion for your school district or for recording purposes that you need. And they also have an answer key at the back that has an example of some of the things you could build. If you're kind of feeling stumped, you don't even have the creativity to know how to do what it is they're asking, then they give you the examples there at the back, okay? They have um, pre-K through sixth grade <clears throat> um, available, excuse me. <coughs> and I was gonna show you really quick here, they are all color coded by unit. So that's kind of fun too. So you can see we have purple, blue, orange, green for each of the colors. So it's easy to kind of identify. And if you know me, I really like my books to have lots of good color and stuff because I think it makes it more interesting to look at when you're trying to teach something. So anyway, here is this um, product. I think it's going to be a fantastic addition to what we're using for science. Um, but I think it could actually be a very gentle standalone curriculum if that's what you're looking for. If you're feeling overwhelmed with what you have or if you don't have anything and you can't find something or everything's too expensive to buy a really big curriculum, I think this could be a fairly good gentle introduction to science for those lower grades if that's kind of what you're looking for. So again, we have the start, smart, smart start STEM 
It's an Evan Moore product. Check that description box below. I will mention that I chose this product to review by um, Evan Moore and they gave it to me for free so that I could review it for them. I did select it, I did want it, it was my choice, but they did send it to me so that I could send my review of what I think about it. So you're gonna wanna follow along in our our homeschool life video series and I'll talk about how we're using this and how it's working and how I like it and then at the end of the year I will do a review of how the product went overall in our homeschool life so make sure you check those videos out so you can see how this product actually works out thanks so much for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next